हेलो वेलकम बैक द टॉपिक फॉर टूडेज माइक्रोबायोलॉजी क्लास इज ग्रोथ ऑफ बैक्टीरिया बैक्टीरिया रिप्रोड्यूस बाय बाइनरी फिशन अ प्रोसेस बाय व्हिच वन पेरेंट सेल डिवाइड्स टू फॉर्म टू प्रोजेनी सेल्स वन सेल गिव राइज टू टू प्रोजेनी सेल्स सो बैक्टीरिया आर सेड टू अंडरगो एक्सपोनेंशियल ग्रोथ और लोगार्थमिक ग्रोथ इन व्हिच ईच सेल doubles itself after each cycle so doubling time is the time that is required for each cell cycle to be completed to get cell doubled the doubling time of bacteria ranges from as little as 20 minutes for e coli to as long as 18 hours for mycobacterium tuberculosis it varies not only with species but also with the amount of nutrients the temperature the ph and other environmental factors the growth cycle of bacteria has four major phases first is the lag phase in which there is vigorous metabolic activity but cells do not divide this phase can last for a few minutes to many hours second is the logarithmic phase in which there is rapid cell division beta lactam drugs for example penicillin act during this stage because the cell is dividing and peptidoglycan is making the log phase or logarithmic phase is also known as exponential phase third phase is stationary phase during which nutrient depletion or toxic products cause growth to slow until the number of new cells produced balances the number of cells that die it results in a steady state in this stage the cells are not dividing neither dying the third or fourth or final stage is the death phase in which there is decline in the number of viable bacteria by the death of bacteria This is the bacterial growth curve that shows first is the log phase a lag phase in which there is no increase in number of bacteria although there is vigorous metabolic activity second is log phase or exponential phase in which there is rapid increase in cell number due to cell division then third is stationary phase that causes a plateau in the curve in which the rate of cell division and rate of cell death is equal and fourth is the death or declining phase in which the bacterial cell death rate is more than the uh, growth rate for bacterial growth oxygen is required so oxygen acts as the hydrogen acceptor in the final steps of energy production that is catalyzed by flavoproteins and cytochromes the use of oxygen generates two toxic molecules one is hydrogen peroxide and other is free radical superoxide bacteria require two enzymes to detoxify these two molecules when oxygen is utilized first enzyme is superoxide dismutase that reduces the free radical oxygen species into hydrogen peroxide and oxygen second enzyme is catalase that converts or degrades this hydrogen peroxide into water and oxygen so on the basis of their oxygen requirement for their growth bacteria are classified into three categories first is obligate aerobes that require oxygen to grow because their atp generating system is dependent on oxygen as the hydrogen acceptor example of obligate aerobe is mycobacterium tuberculosis facultative anaerobes utilize oxygen if it is present to generate energy by respiration but they can use the fermentation pathway also to synthesize atp in the absence of sufficient oxygen example is e coli obligate anaerobes cannot grow in the presence of oxygen because they lack either superoxide dismutase or catalase or both of these enzymes 
example is Clostridium tetani. Fermentation Fermentation is also called glycolytic cycle and this is the process by which facultative bacteria generate ATP in the absence of oxygen. The term fermentation refers to the breakdown of sugar to pyruvic acid and then usually to lactic acid. If oxygen is present, the pyruvate produced by fermentation process enters the Krebs cycle and is metabolized to two final products that are carbon dioxide and water. The Krebs cycle generates much more ATP than the glycolytic cycle. Therefore, facultative bacteria grow faster in the presence of oxygen. Aerobes such as Pseudomonas aeruginosa produced metabolites that enters the Krebs cycle by a process other than, other than fermentation such as deamination of amino acids. So what is the importance of fermentation? In fermentation tests performed in the lab, production of pyruvate and lactate turns the medium acidic which can be detected by a pH indicator that changes color upon changes in the pH. For example, if a sugar is fermented in the presence of phenol red, that is an indicator, the pH becomes acidic and the medium turns yellow. If however the sugar is not fermented, no acid is produced and phenol red indicator remains red.